What's going on everybody? Just eating my pre-workout meal here. Got uh, about three-fourths cup of oatmeal with a scoop of whey protein mixed in here. I put a little bit of salt in here just to bring out the sweetness. But uh, to keep it short and sweet guys, about to go crush shoulders. I've been getting super strong, been working about a lot of my power movements. So today we're gonna take a break from that. We're gonna hit some German volume training. But I'm gonna do it my style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through the videos. I'll record some videos of what I'm gonna do for this routine. And then after this, or after you see all the videos, I'll explain how I do my style of German volume training. So I'll see you after the workout. Have a good day. So here I am in my car. Just got off work, had my pre-workout meal. I let my pre-workout meal sit for probably about an hour. I think that's the best time. Uh, I'm going to take my pre-workout. I am so immune to pre-workouts, I probably should cycle off them. But I don't. I just get like the next uh, upgrade of crazy stuff that goes into my body. And this won't stop working on me soon. But this is what I'm on right now, guys. This is what I'm taking. It's called Cracked Out. It's funny how these names keep changing. Meth I tried before. It's weird. Not the drug form. But what I do is I go straight to the dome. And it, gets, it goes right to the bloodstream. All right, so I just smashed my shoulders today. Um, I decided to go like a German volume training route. Um, typically, German volume training is like 10 sets of 10. You choose a compound movement. Let's just say, for example, if it's your chest day, you're gonna start with 10 sets of 10 of like a bench press, uh, something that builds mass. Um, for a leg day, you would probably go with squatting, maybe a leg press, but mostly you probably go with squatting. Uh, for shoulder day, you're gonna do some type of military press or heavy dumbbell pressing. So you're usually gonna do about 60% of your one rep max and then do 10 sets of 10 at that with one minute rest. See me, I, I tweak it a little bit. I do my own style. So it's kind of the same concept. I'm doing sets of 10, but I started with my first movement today was with dumbbell shoulder presses and as you saw through you know I, I just let you guys see all my workouts uh, I like to do the side dumbbell presses because it, it focuses a little more on the medial head that you know your middle head or your shoulders you got your front your middle and your back um, when you do a military barbell press you know obviously it works the front and the sides but you're gonna get a lot of emphasis on the front shoulders and my front shoulders are pretty good so I really want to bring out the caps of my shoulders so I'm working a lot of my rear delts and I'm doing a lot of side raises as you saw 
So that's why I chose to start out with uh, side presses. And I didn't wait one minute in between. I just rested fully. Uh, for my first movement, I did five sets of 10 of shoulder presses. Um, with dumbbells and I, I worked my way up I start not with 60% I started where I knew I could do 10 reps was like 75s I think I started with and then I went to 80s and then 85s and I started to get a little tired there so I finished my next two sets with uh, sets of 10 of 85 pounders um, and I waited about two to two and a half minutes in between I, I wanted to be fully recovered for these because I am working on mass right now in my stage in my life and building my physique so after I did that instead of doing 10 sets of 10, I break it in half. So I did five sets like that and I do my other five sets behind the neck presses so I can focus on the back of my rear delts and my traps and that side of um, the shoulder. So it makes sense that way. And then after that, when you're doing your German volume training, after you do your first 10, 10 sets of 10, you don't just keep doing 10, sec 10 sets of 10. You usually pick about two or three different workouts and you do five sets of 10 and they're accessory movements. So if you're doing like a leg day, you do like some leg extensions and leg curls, five sets of 10 with minute rest. So for me is I kept the workout out pretty fast that's when I was doing like minute rest instead of two minutes so I chose um, as you saw after my behind the neck presses I did a lot of raises I did first I did like you know where I'm swinging like this a little little a little momentum for my side raises and then um, I did five sets of ten like that and then I, I did a, a lighter weight and I really focus on you know bringing the arm out and doing them perfectly uh, with a lighter weight and really squeezing at the top and then after that I hit um ten sets of ten actually of uh, the shrugs but what I did was instead of waiting a minute in between each set was I would do 10 in the front and then I went right to 10 in the back so basically I did five sets of 20 um, and then to finish off my workout I did some rear delts I bent over and I did five sets of 10 of my rear delts so that's my style of German volume training maybe I'll start calling that uh, Puerto Rican uh, volume training so hey, it might be something I can create in the future if I uh, if I make it big so hey guys I hope you guys enjoy this workout and I'm gonna have a lot of good content uh, keep coming for you guys so if you guys like what you saw today definitely share this if it helped you uh you know uh like comment share and just spread the word guys because i'm gonna have a lot a lot of things coming out for you uh for my workouts to my daily diet you know i'm gonna be doing a couple series as far as like my cut i'm bulking right now lean bulking till uh, probably the next two months and then i'm gonna do a series i'm gonna show you guys every week my way in and just see how shredded i get in 12 weeks it's gonna be a real cool series and i'm also probably gonna keep you guys updated because i'm gonna keep working up to get a 500 pound squat and uh just keep keep you informed so guys join me along my journey i hope you guys have a great day and let's stay fit a little Here's a little glimpse at my post-workout meal. Uh, last night I had a taste. I eat out about two, two times a week right now, I'm trying to do like a lean bulk. Um, so I'm, you know I have my two splurge meals a week, and I had a taste for uh, gyros or high rolls, heroes, whatever you call them, last night, and um, they kind of messed up my order. They did actually pretty bad. So I called them and I said, "Hey, you forgot some stuff. This and this and this." And they said, "Hey, come back tomorrow. We'll give you a free platter." So. Um, this is what I'm gonna have for post-workout. Usually I have like sweet potatoes and lean ground beef or Usually I'll have like that or oatmeal and protein powder in it. Uh, so this was gonna be today I have a portion of rice. Uh, I have a little bit of steak uh, Chicken lamb meat and I'm gonna put it on this pita bread with some vegetables and I'm drinking my BCAA So I'm gonna have a good pre post-workout meal today. Pretty happy about it. So time to grub Yay